नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स हमेशा किशोर बिटिया आई एम जे वी एंस डॉक्टर नीरज होलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक द फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड द पॉलिन जर्मिनेशन सो दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट इज दैट so the pollen tube uh, it is produced by the male gametophyte of seed plants when it germinates so uh, when the when the germination is there in the male gametophyte of the plant so there is a uh, germination of a tube like structure from the pollen grains that is known as the pollen tube so a conduit to transport the male gamete cells to the ovules at the base of the pistil or directly through the ovule tissue in some gymnosperms so what is that that uh, it is the process of transferring the male gametes into the ovules so the fertilization in plants have various various steps by the uh, pollination then pon pollen germination then penetration of pollen tube into the ovule and fertilization and the lastly the cell division in the zygote so let's start one by one first is the pollination so basically the pollination is the process of transferring the pollen grains from the male anther of the flower to the female stigma okay so pollination may be performed by the air or by birds by insects or by any other mean so basically here is the transfer of the pollen grains from the male anther to the female stigma so anthers elevate by elongating the stem in filaments and ultimately they go out and speculate during the anthesis so next is the pollen germination pollen germination in in the process of the pollen germination the stigma starts to germinate okay so in uh, after the pollen pollination the pollen germination is there and <clears throat> the pollen tube is is germinated towards the egg cell so pollen tubes are what is the pollen tubes they are they are actually the pathways of male gamete for male gamete to reach the egg or ovule so the significance of the germination of pollen tube is the that they create a pathway of transferring the male gamete to the female gamete so next is the penetration of pollen tube into the ovule so in the penetration process the pollen tube reaches the ovule so there is a penetration the physical penetration is there and the ovule is disturbed and the pollen tube reaches to the ovule in the next step that is the fertilization in most of the plants the fertilization is a double fertilization so in the first step the fertilization of egg is there so the egg is fertilized by the male gamete and in the second step the fertilization of the polar nuclei in the embryo sac so in the embryo sac there is a polar nuclei and that is also fertilized by the male gamete so in the most of the uh, seed plants or the flowering plants the double fertilization process is there so next is the division of the zygote so after the fertilization process cell division uh, starts or that is known as the cleavage cleavage division starts to develop into an embryo so these are the various steps which are included in the 
fertilization process of the flowering plants so thank you and in the next lecture we will continue this topic and hope you are satisfied with this digital session and if you have any query please write in the comment box this session is powered by digital version 2 jyoti vidyapeet women's university jaipur thank you